please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. In our today's lecture, we are going to discuss a very important concept of remainder theorem in math. Remainder theorem as its name indicates is a, is a theorem that is applicable while the, di dividing the polynomials. If a polynomial, it is stated as if a polynomial p e of x is divided by a linear divisor x minus a, then the remainder will be p of a. You need not be confused with the, with the statement as it seems a, a little bit difficult, but you will understand its concept when we will describe it through example. Currently, you just have to understand that this is the statement of the remainder theorem. We will move towards its proof and why we why do we need to use the remainder theorem in this lecture? Okay, so for for understanding this theorem, let's say we have a polynomial p of x is equals to you can take an any polynomial. So we are taking a polynomial as 3x cubed minus 10x square plus 13x minus 6. Okay, you will be given with the polynomial like this. Okay. We have already understand the concept of polynomial in our previous lecture. And so you can refer to that for understanding the polynomial. Okay. Then according to the definition, if a polynomial P of X is divided by a linear divisor, we have got the polynomial. Now we need a linear divisor. Now what is linear divisor? Linear divisor means a divisor having the degree 1. Okay. So here it is. In the uh, statement, it is x minus a. So it means here the degree of this polynomial is 1. So we can take the example as we are just assuming right now. So we can take the example as the linear divisor could be x minus 2. Okay, these are just the examples or the assumptions that we are going to make in order to understand this theorem. So we have got what? A polynomial and a linear divisor with the with the degree one of the first degree divisor. So keep in your mind that it should be linear divisor. You cannot take x square minus two or x cube minus two here. Okay. So we will move forward here. We have to divide this given polynomial according to the statement by us by a linear divisor. Then we will see what we will get. Okay. So let's divide it you should have the concept of how to divide a polynomial as it is important in order to understand this remainder theorem so we have a polynomial as okay this is the polynomial and the divisor is x minus 2 now we have to divide it now we have to multiply with what so that we get 3x cube we have to multiply with 3x square okay so what we will get 3x cube minus 6x square okay then we have like this we cancel it out and what we will get minus 10 plus 6 is minus 4x square plus it will be here 13x minus 6 okay then we, will, we have to multiply with minus 4x in order to get this minus 4x square so minus 4x into x is minus 4x square plus 8x okay what we have got here it is cancelled out is minus then 5x minus 6 then we have to multiply it with 5 to get what we will get 5x minus 10 okay this will be cancelled out and minus 6 minus 10 will be uh, minus 6 plus 10 will be 4 okay what we have got is 4 this is the remainder here remainder of division of polynomial with a linear divisor keep this in mind so the remainder that we have got by using this long division is the uh, by using this long division is 4 now what we have got we have got a remainder here by dividing the uh, polynomial with a linear device this is what this is a linear divisor as per the theorem then this is the quotient okay that is q of x and this is the remainder that we have uh, that we have got r 
and we have evaluated that by we can have an alternative instead of this long division we can have an alternative way in order to get this remainder what that alternative way could be let's say that you can write this uh, long division form as by division algorithm what is the division algorithm according to that the given polynomial that is p of x that is 3x cube minus 10x square plus 13x minus 6 this is equal to what this is equal to the quotient what is quotient this is the quotient okay so quotient comes out here is 3x square minus 4x plus 5 okay multiplied by the linear divisor that is x minus 2 here plus the remainder that is 4 so by using the division algorithm we can convert this long division into this form okay so by using this form we move forward as we'll write this form again here as how we got this equation let's say if you divide a number like 12 by 5 okay so how you can divide that if you divide 12 by 5 like this 5 2s are 10 what you get is 2 okay now you can also write it as 12 is equals to the quotient quotient is this 2 multiply by the divisor that is 5 means 2 into 5 plus the remainder that is 2 it means 5 2 is a 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 this is the same as like this so same is the case here that we have converted the long division form into the division algorithm form so we can replace these values as according to our theorem this 3x cube minus 10x squared plus 13 minus x was equals to p of x this was our polynomial okay and this is the q of x that is the quotient we have got and this is the linear divisor that is x minus a in general okay and this is the remainder r we can write this equation as p of x is equals to q of x into x minus a plus r now this is the given equation that we have formed by using the division algorithm okay so this is true for all real number x but for x is equals to a if we put in this equation x is equals to a what we will get we will get p of a is equals to q of a into a minus a plus r what what it will be then p of a will be equals to this will be cancelled out and it will be r now what we have got here we have got basically what we have stated in the remainder theorem that if you divide a polynomial by a divisor you will get p of a is equals to the remainder r or you can say the remainder will be p of a so we can say that remainder will be p of a this means by, by dividing the polynomial by a linear divisor we can get the um, we can get a number that is we can get the remainder if the uh, value of x is equals to a okay so if we can say if the divisor even if, even if the divisor is divisor is a x minus b other than x minus a what it will be then in the above equation we were having here x is equals to a and here the x is equals to b divided by a now if we use this bx equals to b over a where in this equation what we will get let's find it out if we write p of b over a equals to q of a q of b over a we will replace the value of x at all places by b over a b over a multiplied by this uh, this equation a into and we will replace this x by b by a 
minus b. Here it is cancelled out and b minus b is equal to 0 and we will get again plus r and we will get the result that is equal to r. It means even if you have some other divisor but it should be linear, keep in mind the divisor should be linear, you will get the same answer that is the rem remainder. So what we have uh, evaluated from here, if the divisor is linear, this theorem provides you with an easiest and shortest and the shortest way of finding the remainders without using long division method. Let's have an example so that you can easily have a, a clear concept about how you can use this theorem instead of using the long division method. Example is you will be asked to find remainder when 9x square minus 6x plus 2 is divided by x minus 3. How you will do that? So one method is by using the long division method and the other is by using the remainder theorem. So according to the remainder theorem, p of a is equals to the remainder if you have a polynomial p of x and a divisor a linear divisor x minus a and they are dividing together okay by using this equation you can easily find out the remainder without using the long division method so we have to find here the a what is a for that you have to evaluate here a is in this according to the remainder a is this it means the divisor in divisor we can we can evaluate the a from the divisor so here in our question, the divisor is this. So, x minus 3 is equals to 0 will give you with x is equals to 3. Here, the a is basically equals to 3. Okay. So, we, by using the remainder theorem, we can say that p of 3 will be equal to the remainder. It means you have to put the value of x is equals to 3 where in this polynomial. Okay. So, so p of x was 9x square minus 6x plus 2 and you have to put the value of x as 3 and you will write 9 into x square is 3 square minus 6 into 3 plus 2 9 uh, 3 3 is uh, 9 9 9 is 81 minus 18 plus 2 is equals to 65 p of 3 is equals to 65 that is equals to remainder so this is how you can find the remainder as quickly by just putting the value of the divisor of the x from the divisor into the given equation. Okay, let's have one more example. As by using the multiple example, you will understand why we actually use the remainder theorem instead of the long divisions. Okay. So the example is find remainder when the polynomial is 3x square minus 2x plus 1 is divided by x minus 2. How you will do that? We can solve this by directly as we know that according to the theorem p of a, p of a is equals to the remainder. Okay. And here a is what? Here a is, a can be found by x minus 2 equals to 0 as it is the same as x minus a divisor. So here the divisor is a is equals to 2. Okay. So it means p of 2 will be equals to the rem remainder. Okay. So we can say that if we put the value of x equals to 2, we will get the remainder. Okay. So we will do what p of 2 is equals to, we will put the value of 2 in the given polynomial 3x square minus 2x plus 1, 3 into 2 square minus 2 into 2 plus 1, 2 square is 4, 4 is a 12 minus 4 plus 1, 12 minus 4 is 8, 8 plus 1 equals to 9. So we have got the remainder r is equals to 9. Okay. So this is how we can find the remainder by using the remainder theorem instead of long division as it, it, is, the, as it is the quickest or easiest way to do the same thing. So we have evaluated that factor theorem is helpful when you, uh, you came across the long divisions and you have a polynomial and the divisor should be linear. Okay. 
so this so that's all from today's lecture of thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates thank you